In this video, I'll show you how to use a blank selection chart to determine lens blank size. These charts are useful and provide fast and accurate results that account for both horizontal and vertical decentration. The diameter chart consists of a series of lines and circles that allow us to position the lens and determine the blank size required. The large cross at the center of the chart corresponds to the patient's fitting point, and when the frame is positioned correctly, allows us to determine the clearance of common lens diameters available. The fitting point can either be marked on the lens or the patient's measurements can be used to align the frame. The vertical lines represent the patient's binocular PD and are aligned with the center of the bridge. On this particular chart, the lines represent the monocular PD measurement. If monocular PDs are used, then just multiply monocular PD by 2 and align the bridge with the corresponding line. Take for example a 3mm right eye PD would align with a 60mm line on the chart. Most charts mark the lines with monocular measurements now, but this is the one referenced in the systems textbook, and it does not. The horizontal lines represent the patient's fitting height, and they are aligned with the bottom of the frame opening. Once the frame is positioned and aligned with the fitting point, the diameter circles are used to evaluate the lens cutout and clearance. The chart can be used whether the patient's fitting point is marked on the frame or not. In this video, we're going to mark the patient's fitting point, but either way, the alignment process is basically the same. Even when the fitting point is marked, it's best to double check the alignment to ensure frame positioning. For this example, we're going to mark the pupil center as the fitting point. This isn't always the case because the fitting point depends on the lens style and purpose, but for this example, we're going to fit the lens at the pupil center. Now the frame is aligned with the fitting point on the chart. Before the diameter is selected, you want to make sure that the center of the bridge is aligned with the patient's PD and the bottom of the frame is aligned at the fitting height. If the patient's fitting point wasn't marked on the lens, we would use these lines to align the fitting point in the same way. Once the frame is positioned, we can look to see which circle encloses the frame opening. For a thin metal rim like this one, we can see that the lens falls right inside the 75mm circle. We would want to select a 75mm lens diameter. As you can see, a 70mm diameter would be about a millimeter too small. For thick rim frames, make sure to look on the inside of the opening to estimate the lens diameter since we don't include frame thickness. Remember that although we're looking at the frame opening, what we're really looking at is the size of the lens that will fit into that opening. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.